For every Dick and Jane and Jerry, a special day in February is a time to win, a time to woo, a time for saying I love you, for Valentine's, both comical and serious, and messages mysterious. Oh, Brother Bear, will you be mine from... Honey Bear, your super secret valentine? Who? Who? That's what I want to know. Who? Hmm? Love is lovely, it's grand, it's great. It's falling home when you're running late. An occasional quiet. Remembering that first date It's getting along with your fellow bear Sometimes love is just being there It's us, it's we, it's me, it's you Honey bear? Honey bear? Who can it be? Who can have sent this object to me? Brother Bear was baffled, confused, nonplussed. He pondered and puzzled. He fumed and he fussed. A secret admirer, Brother Bear said, is something I need like a hole in the head. Then he looked at the thing, with its silly words and its picture of Cupid shooting a dart, checked quickly to see that no one was looking, then placed the object next to his heart. the ice the ice said brother distracted by the valentine for this afternoon's hockey oh that ice just dandy ideal conditions are fine now it just so happened that later that day brother's hockey team the bear country cousins was scheduled to play a game that could lead to the championship Oh, what a lad. Surely a block right off the old chip. Blip right off the old chop. A, 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 a blop right off the... Uh... Mama! It'll be cold today. Just checking to see if you're wearing your woolies. For today's winning team would eventually meet the mighty, the powerful Bear Town Bullies. Oh, you should have seen me in my prime. I could skate like lightning and turn on a dime. My slap shot was famous. When it whizzed through the air, it was hold on to your helmets and goalie beware. <laughs> That was some shot, Papa. Enough of hockey. I've got slap shots and pucks coming out of my ears. It's all right for them, but it bores me to tears. I don't object to hockey as such, but day after day after day, it does get to be a little bit much. There's more to life. Hopscotch, jacks, jumping rope, double dutch, whoops, and Valentine's Day. 
Now there's an occasion that suits my style. A chance to do something really worthwhile. Star forward, Brother Bear, takes the puck at center ice. He paints a pass, drives down the ice, is checked. He passes off, takes a return pass, shoots, scores! There you have it. A stellar performance by Brother Bear and another solid victory for the Cousins. This victory by the Bear Country Cousins puts them in the big Valentine's Day championship game against the powerful Bear Town Bullies. A dubious privilege at best. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Brother, brother, no other. Brother, brother, no other. Yay! Ooh. Ah. Uh, oh, my. <laughs> when Charlene spoke to him, Good game. She said, Brother turned color from his toes to his head. A lovely shade of Valentine Red. Meanwhile, back at the treehouse, the plot was thickening. The pace of Valentine intrigue was quickening. It's a Valentine, and it's for you. Oh, Valentine mine, please be true to your secret sweetheart from guess who? Miss Honeybear? From your secret sweetheart, guess who? Brother, brother, no other, brother, brother, no. Brother has a valentine, brother has a valentine. <laughs> I find Valentine's Day a considerable harassment. The whole infernal blessed thing is a terrible embarrassment. And I'm absolutely unconditionally opposed to expressions of love. Mush, kissing and hugging, and all that slush, snuggle bugging, and I've no crush on any member of the opposite sex. Whatever that is, I say a hex to rubbing noses, holding hands to any sort of long range plans. Down with. Mush, whispering and giggling, and all that gush, wiggling and jiggling, and I say hush to any and every mention of that embarrassing, harassing thing called love. Down with mush. Now, the fact that Papa loved Mama and vice versa was as plain as the nose on Papa Bear's face. So there was no need for Cupid. But Sis put her two cents in, just in case. You know Valentine's Day is coming. Oh, Valentine's Day? <laughs> Good Dad. I'm going to the store for Valentine's. And I was wondering, Dad. Oh, oh, thank you, sister, just the same. Uh, but store-bought cards are not my game. Your mama must have something special, something grand. The finest valentine in all bear land. Bye-bye. I won't settle for the merely sentimental. It must be something monumental. Let's see now. Freddy and Eddie, Roger and Stu. I might even send one, dear brother, to you. Valentine's Day. Yuck. Mom and Papa. Yes, Sister had worked up quite a list. Now, let me think. Is there anyone I might have missed? At that moment, they were passing the forbidden lair of the local giant, 
Big Paw Bear. Say, how about Big Paw? Bet he never got a valentine before. Big Paw? Who will deliver it? The Army, the Navy, and the whole Marine Corps? Why, I'll deliver it, of course. Now there's Donnie and Ronnie, George and Ted. Something special, something grand. A valentine to show how much I care. Worthy of my feelings for Mama Bear. Then, discarding his axe and putting the final part in place, <laughs> Papa Bear found himself sailing through space. <laughs> That, uh, you wasn't quite right. While the idea was appealing, it didn't quite show my depth of feeling. My valentine for Mama Bear must show how much I really care. Be visible far and wide, but in good taste, dignified. Hmm. Then, brother left sister to choose her valentines. Hopped a fence, ignored a couple of keep out signs, on a secret mission to scout those bullies of Beartown fame, whom the cousins would meet in the Valentine's Day championship game. Hmm, said brother, looking around. This must be the place. But no sign of bullies. Not a trace. Then they came, out of the rising, billowing mist, skating like furies, bunched together like a giant fist. There were slashing sticks, a flashing punt. There was no escape, no place to hide, no way to duck. There was no question about it. The bullies were powerful opposition. They were especially strong at the goalie position. The bullies were rough, a hard-hitting bunch, and that goalie was tough. If we're not at our best, those Bear Town bullies will have us for lunch. As brother weighed the pluses and minuses, Let's see now. We're quicker, more agile. Oof. The various trade-offs. On the other hand, we're a lot more fragile. He forgot the other Valentine game. Oh, what's this? S-W-A-K? Sealed with a kiss? Roses are red, violets are blue. This is your third notice. I? Love you, your secret admirer, Honey Bear. And at that very moment, with the Honey Bear mystery getting deeper, the curiosity and suspense getting steeper, who should ride by right there and then but the lovely Charlene, that bear country 10. Well, hello. What a tribute. What a glorious display. A symbol for the ages. Just one more tap and it's here to stay. A valentine, 10 feet tall. A tribute to rank with the Taj Mahal. Now, just a minute, Papa Bear. I'm glad to know you still care. But when it comes to love, biggest and best are not the test. Love is not the Taj Mahal. A valentine, ten feet tall. A Versailles palace, a Cellini chalice. Oh, well, what is it then? It's little things like showing up when the need is great, like phoning home when you're running late. 
Oh, but your burnt chops are really tops. And occasional quiet tater tate. And occasionally sleeping late. It's remembering that first date. First date? Love is lovely, it's grand, it's great. Love's true blue, or square and straight. It's remembering. Oh, oh, oh gosh, I remember our first date. You do? Now, weren't you wearing that exact same dress? As a matter of fact, yes. Pitching in, helping out. That's what love is all about. If there's pain, grinning and bearing it. If there's trouble, groaning and sharing it. Love is powerful, brave and strong. And like art, love is long. Love is also getting along. Oh, wait. I think you turn left here. No, it's right. Right is wrong. Right. Wrong. You two aren't getting along. It's getting along with your fellow bear. Sometimes love is just being there. It's, it's us. It's, it's we. we. It's, it's me. me. It's, it's you. Sticking together like crazy glue. Just one more item before this ditty ends. Love is being friends. For me? I'm sending this on a hunch, so come on down and join the bunch. Your friend, Sister Bear. Yes, the time had come for the match to decide the championship. Bears had come from miles around. Why, even Big Paw had made the trip. On foot, on bikes, on skates they came for that Valentine's Day championship game. The game that would answer that burning question, would the bullies have the cousins for lunch? Or would the cousins give them indigestion? Brother was suiting up with the other lads, putting on his skates and pads, when that other question reasserted itself in another envelope on his locker shelf. You shall know me very soon. I reveal myself this afternoon. Signed, Honey Bear. Brother tried being angry, frustrated, furious. But he just couldn't manage it. He was much too curious. He scanned the stands, surveyed the scene, and got a smile for his trouble from the lovely Charlene. Pluck and luck, luck and pluck will make those bullies eat that puck. The referee is about to drop the puck. This one, Pearl two, Country Cousin. The referee drops the puck and this long away game is underway. Bullies control, oh they are big. Cousin star forward, brother bear skating hard. Steals, passes off, and as he is, he's checked hard. Oh, these bullies are tough. Brother Bear recovers though, takes return pass, shoots! Easy save for the bullies, super goal. Brother, brother, no other, brother, brother, no other. Yet. Bullies control, move down the ice. Mid one, Pearl two, country cousin. Yes, folks, this match is everything we hoped it would be. Bully's power against Cousin's speed. Star forward, Brother Bear against the Bully's super goalie. Just look at those saves. <laughs> well, folks, with the Bully's leading 1-0 and just minutes to play, it begins to look like another Bully's year. 
Yes, it's beginning to look like Brother is running out of steam. No doubt about it. He looks a little discouraged, but who can blame him? He's taken shot after shot, only to be turned away by brilliant gold candy. Oh, wait! Brother Bear seems to have gotten his second win, and he steals! He steals! He's breaking away! Shoot! And scores! Fans, with the score tied, in just a minute to play, we could be looking at overtime. And with the bully's strength and superiority in gold, hold it, hold it! Did you see that shot? The Cousins win! The Cousins win! The cheers for the cousins were long and loud. But Brother continued to search the crowd for some signal, for some sign of Honey Bear, his super secret Valentine. Then, as Brother reached out for the last handshake, something happened to boggle mind. The bully's great goalie, who had been sort of lingering behind, began to take off her, that's right, her mask and pads. Brother was shocked. Easy, said Papa. Steady now, lad. That's right. The goalie was a she. It said so right there on the extra large t-shirt of Miss Honeybear. Honeybear is you? Sputtered Brother. Yes, indeedy. None other. And I just want to tell you, I really admire the way you skate. Simply super. Really great. Shake, said Brother. Put her there. You're OK. Hey, maybe we could practice together. I could practice my save, and you could practice your shot. Why not? They became fast friends right then and there. Star forward Brother and super goalie Honey Bear. As the bear stood admiring Honey Bear's size, they were introduced to a bigger surprise. Honey Bear's sister, Big Bertha Bear, who caught the attention of that self-styled Cupid, sister. This is my friend, Big Paw. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> It's great, it's phoning home when you're running late. An occasional choir, tate a tate, remembering that first date. It's getting along with your fellow bear. Sometimes love is just being there. It's us, it's we, it's me, it's you. Sticking together like crazy glue. Just one more item before this ditty ends. Love is 